With Christmas now just five days away, a lot of us are looking forward to spending time with friends and family. But for the Ross family in South Spokane, it'll be a bittersweet Christmas because much of their family will spend the holiday half a world away. KXY 4's Melissa Luck is here with a story of one family's sacrifice. Well, the Ross family has eight kids and 14 grandkids, so you can imagine the holidays get a little bit crazy at their house. This year, though, it will be a bit quieter as their thoughts are in a rock with three of their sons, now three soldiers. I'll be home for Christmas. On every street, in every town, in homes all across America. The spirit of Christmas brings families home. I'm very, very fortunate to have um, the kids that are, are here are here. The Ross home in South Spokane is always full. Rhonda and Robin had eight kids in 12 years. Now they're grandparents of 14. But this year, Christmas will be different. They left November 10th, 11th, and 16th. Randy, Reagan, and Robbie Ross are three of Rhonda and Robin's seven sons. Until last year, they were all three plumbers. Now, they are all Private First Class Ross, U.S. Army, serving in Iraq. We're a pretty patriotic family, and so to have them over there, um, it means a lot. That patriotism is all over this house, from the walls, to the tree, to the camo the grandchildren wear. Most notably, on the front window of their home. Among the decorations and Christmas lights, three simple stars. One for each son away at war. It's really, it's an honor to be their mother. It's just coincidence that Robbie, Randy, and Reagan deployed within days of each other. Each is stationed at a different base and joined the Army at different times. But the parallels back home are heartbreaking. Each left behind a wife and children. Two had babies born just before they left. The day that he left, we were talking and... I told him that the hardest thing about him being gone was him being away from his kids because he's a great dad. Katrina's husband Robbie left home just weeks after baby Brinley was born. She brought their three kids down from Alaska to be with Robbie's family for Christmas. We have webcams, so we're going to have him on the webcam and us on the webcam so he can still see the kids open their presents and stuff, so that would be nice. And instead of feeling bitter towards the war that took her husband away, she's gracious comforted by Robbie's family and the words he spoke when he left home. He told me that he might miss Brinley's first step, but him being over there might make it possible for many other children to have their first step. And that's the consensus among the whole Ross family, that Robbie, Reagan, and Randy will spend Christmas there to ensure our safety back here. So it's a sacrifice in that we're not seeing them, but it takes um, people willing to sacrifice to live in a land that we live in. So this year, there will be a couple chairs empty at the Christmas Eve dinner table. Uncles may have to pick up where dad's left off. But the Ross family will never feel sorry for themselves. There's no room for that. There's too much love and too much pride. I wouldn't change it. I, I am very, very proud of them. And while this war will not stop for Christmas, This family will wait forever. Only, only in my That's probably the ninth time I've watched oh, that story, and it's gosh. hard to watch it that is. last shot every time. We want to thank the Ross family for letting us into their home. They all got together for us to do the story. They all wanted to be a part of it. This actually came out of a sound off question that we asked on Thanksgiving. We asked people, what are you thankful for? Rhonda wrote in and said, I'm thankful for my three sons that are in Iraq. So pretty unbelievable family. Oh my goodness. Thank you for, yeah, thank you for letting us be there. And we're praying for your boys, just so you know. 